If you guys have seen my community tab, you've seen how the new format is going to be for the shipping videos. Today is going to be the first test run of this and see how it goes. See if you guys like the format and see if you guys like the timeline. It's always about the timeline. Can I keep you interested? Probably not. I'm kind of boring, all right? But guys, we're going to go look at the new format, look at a new YouTuber, and talk a little bit more about that eBay standard envelope. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So today is going to be a very quick shipping show. Um, at least I assume it will be because today we've only got 10 cards that sold. Um, all are single card orders. So, I mean, we'll have 10 things to ship, but it should go pretty quickly because you guys have seen the process by now. Got a pretty streamlined where we fly through cards. So once we get going, that should go quick. Um, <clears throat> at least I hope. <laughs> I'm moving a little slow this morning. We had football practice last night. Um, and I kind of took a pretty hard shot right here to the ribs and uh, jacked them up a little bit. And it definitely caused me some pain last night while trying to sleep. And anytime I try to call for a sneeze, it's uh, not feeling too good. And any big movements with this side, it definitely hurts. So might have busted a rib. Yeah, that's what you get being 40-something years old. And uh, trying to play football out there with the kids. Right now, there's no pads. It's just off-season workouts. But uh, we were just doing a drill to make the kids cut a different way. And I went in the one hole. And the kid didn't anticipate it and read it. And bulldozed right into me. So he just caught me at a good angle with his shoulder. And these are 13-year-olds. 13, 14-year-olds. Not, you know, little kids. So definitely hit with some force in the perfect spot right here. And yeah, a little sore today. So we'll see how quickly I actually move as we get into this. Yeah, we got 10 cards that sold. Um, so not a big profit day at all since we don't you make 25 to 42 cents a card depending on the promoted ads. But that's what it is. There's days like that when you... Uh, sell online it stays like that whenever you sell in any business so you take the good with the bad days first up we got a silver prism ivan rodriguez hall of fame catcher always one of my favorites was pudge it's a very nice uh, hollow right there seven So, yeah. Thank you guys that have seen my community tab in yesterday's video talking about um, the directions we want to take things and what do I want to do. I do appreciate all the support and votes we've been getting and the comments that are starting to roll in. Um, First comment I'm going to start today kind of goes with that, um, with the support. Um, this reselling community, the sports car community, both communities, everybody's been pretty supportive, pretty positive, and tries to help one another. Um, and I love that. That's what I love about these communities. It's why I'm on YouTube and watching people and supporting others. Um, First one came from L Swat 23. This is actually from a quite a few days ago. I'm sorry, I'm just seeing it because it was actually held for review. Not sure why. There's nothing profane, nothing. It's just a new YouTube channel that I have never come across, and I guess that's why. Um, he said, "Hey, I enjoy this video, and I really enjoy the love and support that the people of the YouTube community shows as a viewer." And I agree with that. I really do. Um, it's a great thing. I've met some pretty cool people online, which I've become good friends. So, all right. And Al Swat, I see you have a couple videos. Um, 
So you recently just joined YouTube. It looks like 11 days ago. You've got two videos up. I'm going to add those to my watch later and give those a watch. Um, I'll warn you, it may take a little while till you see uh, the comment show up. I will comment once I watch. Um, my watch later list, guys, is up to probably about 120 videos. Mm -hmm. um, I just keep adding to it when I find stuff that's interesting um, or when people I know post videos and if I get a chance to watch, I throw it on random and just see where the day takes me on YouTube videos. I never know what I'm going to watch, so I'm behind. Some stuff in there has been there for almost two weeks on my watch later. Um, but I will get to those. I try to at least add one video from everybody who comments or something like that to my watch later just to show some support back. Um, just might not be timely support and I do apologize for that. But So I did get to check out Elswatch's channel. Not bad stuff. He's currently got two videos out right now where he talks about cards and goes through his pickups. Not bad stuff. I did find it quite entertaining. I'm not sure if it's how you talk or if it was on purpose, but everything kind of sounded like a rhyme, like he was trying to make it into a song. It was pretty cool. It was different. Um, I'll definitely be back to check out more, and good luck with your channel. Hope you have some good growth. You guys have heard so much about my busy schedule, work, kids, reselling. It's just nonstop, and now next week, well, by the time you see this, huh, Maybe the day of or the day before, my oldest will be having surgery on his knee, so we'll be tied up with that as well. So things are always busy in this neck of the woods. So Elswat, thank you for the support. I will be showing that back to you at some point soon. Let me see what other comments are. There are other comments in there that I've already responded to. I just didn't comment back to them, so we're not going to talk about those in the video. So let me just keep scrolling up. Next up, we got one of the cool holiday cards that you see at Walmart. Holiday Tops. Johnny Cueto. Um, let's see, we got Boris and Natasha again. I haven't seen the comment quite frequently. Boris is a good buddy of mine. Up in the Buffalo area. I think he's still up in that area. Um, said he loves the videos. He loves the Q&As. Which I'm glad about that. I'm glad people are enjoying that. I think it adds a little something to the video. And like you said, as questions start rolling in, the more you guys are going to learn about my processes and just sports cards in general and selling sports cards. And I completely agree with that, of he adds, have I explained the eBay standard envelope and the pricing structure? I have in another video, but honestly, anytime I get a question, I'm going to answer that again just because I feel like I should. It's what you guys want to know. Other people are always joining in. They may not see the old video. So the eBay standard envelope, you got one, two, and three ounces, 63 cents, 87 cents, and $1.11. Typically how I ship with it. Anything up to three cards, I'll put in a one ounce rate because they'll be under one ounce. They'll usually go in, if it's a single card, I do a top loader. If it's two or three cards, we throw it in a card saver. And those will go on the one ounce rate, so 63 cents. Um, usually four to eight cards. I'll do two card savers, sometimes four. Um, the reason is it all depends what kind of card it is. If it's one of the older, you know, junk wax era, like 89 score and cards from that era, they're thinner. Um, I'll do four in a card saver and do two. Um, if they're more modern chrome prisms, I'll put two or three per card saver. But stack that all up. That'll be on the two ounce rate, even if I use four card savers. Anything over that, I put in a three ounce rate when I pop it in the envelope, but I'll only do up to 12 cards. After 12 cards, I just don't 
feel like it's safe for the cards, even if you are allowed to go over, I don't remember. Um, and I'll just pop those in a bubble mailer. Like I would with any other expensive card. eBay standard envelope, if you don't know. The card going in, it has to be under 20 bucks. Um, and what I also do is the combination of cards. I don't know if this is an actual eBay rule or not, but for me, it's my rule because I know I, how I would feel as a customer. If the total cost of your order is 20 bucks or higher, I'm sending in a bubble mailer. Just feel like it's the right thing to do. I can't remember if that's an actual eBay rule. I think it might be, um, but I'm not positive. Um, the thing is with the standard envelope, you can't make it too rigid where it's not gonna go through the machines because this goes through a standard sorting machine. So you would need to, you know, one or two top loaders is the max and use card savers. You can't really use cardboard. Um, eBay sells like little thicker envelope that you can use for it. I don't feel like paying the extra money. Um, and your pack, your envelope must be under a quarter inch in thickness. Um, because again, it's just going through your standard sorting machines. The tracking numbers you guys get, they're not like your normal tracking number. So if somebody brings it to the postal service, they're gonna be like, yeah, we don't know about that. Um, guys, that's actually all of them. All of them already. It's not a bad quick ship today. Got to meet Elswat, new YouTuber. Okay, good stuff. Check them out and learn a little bit more about eBay Standard Envelope. Come back tomorrow as we're gonna go on to another topic and another 10 orders. Catch you then, thanks for watching.